In a previous video, we looked at the expected return for a portfolio. And what we found was that the expected return was a weighted average of the expected returns of the securities that were in the portfolio. Now, when you look at portfolio variance, your intuition might say, well, if the expected return for a portfolio is a weighted average of the expected returns of the stocks that are in the portfolio, then the portfolio variance should be a weighted average of the variance of the individual stocks that are in the portfolio. Unfortunately, this isn't correct. And the reason it isn't correct is because of the concept of correlation and covariance. And we've covered that in another uh, video. What we found is, is that you could combine two, two securities that have high variances that fluctuate a lot and it could turn out that they have little or no risk because they move in opposite directions. So that when one goes down, the other one goes up and offsets some of the loss. Okay? This is the concept of covariance or correlation. And so when we calculate portfolio variance, we need to account for that. And the portfolio variance is this. Okay, I'm going to use sigma p, sigma squared p is the, is the notation for variance for the portfolio. And I'll just do the two security case. When you have more than two securities, it starts to look more complicated. But you can sort of generalize it from this. It's going to be, for example, let's say the two stocks are A and B. It's going to be the weight of the security in A. So if you put 30% in A, it's going to be the weight squared in A times the variance of A plus the weight in B squared times the variance of B plus two times the weight in A times the weight in B times the covariance between A and B. And we're going to use the notation sigma AB to mean covariance. So let's look at this for a second. If you think about it, essentially there are two components to portfolio variance. One component is sort of a weighted average of the individual variances. Okay, The second component which is the more important one we want to think about, measures the diversification benefit. So this, has to do, this part here has to do with the individual risk of the individual securities, and this part has to do with the diversification. And depending on the covariance, and you actually could write this using the correlation, in fact, I'll write that for you. You know that the correlation, rho AB, is equal to the covariance of A and B divided by the standard deviation of A times the standard deviation of B. So you could substitute, you could, you could cross multiply, or you could multiply both sides by sigma A times sigma b, and you would get that the covariance of a and b equals the correlation coefficient of a and b times the standard deviation of a times the standard deviation of b. So we could rewrite that term, and sometimes you'll see it written this way, that the portfolio variance is equal to, the first term is the same, wa squared, sigma squared, a plus wb squared times sigma squared b plus 2 times wa wb rho ab sigma a times sigma b. And so you have to account for this relationship between the two variables by using the covariance or the correlation. And in another tutorial, I'll show you um, an example of how we compute this.